Hi guys, with me, Kabaya, hey. the rap queen, <laughs> Mandi. Karibu Bumple. Asante. Karibu Bumbas, Kenya. Thank you. Uh, Tupima template ya kwanza. Aishwali. Kwa una uh, nigwanga na yo. Huko <laughs> mbaya 35.9. Mm. So, 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 uh, Mandi. Yes. Mandi Kabaya. Yes. By the way, mbano ni Mbaya. Kabaya mm. tu, Kabaya kwa Mike, Kabaya mm. kwa Biz, Kabaya tu, Kabaya ni Kabaya. Kabaya kwa Mike na Biz, peke? Na biz, eh. Kuna kitu ingine. Eh, gani yu ingine? Kwa nyumba, uh, uh. uko ndani. I'm a child of God. Okay, I'm a child of John the Baptist. <laughs> okay, so, Mandi. For yes. those who are watching you for the first time, mm -hmm. who is Mandy? Uh, Mandy <coughs> is a singer, songwriter, rapper, entertainer, performing artist. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, kindly give us a brief history of your musical journey. You know, Ulianza when? How, um, how's the journey been for you? The journey has been bittersweet. Says he complained, by the way. Mm. Um, but I can say it's taken time. I've learned a lot. I started in 2016. Mm. Um, 2016 November is when I released my first song, Under Chore Records, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, and then <coughs> I took like a, a whole year's break uh, in 2017. Then now I started doing things on my own. Because mm. before now I was working with other people. Mm. So they were doing everything for me. So it took me a while to kind of understand everything. Yep. Yeah, so from around 2018 now is when I started becoming stable. So I'm back as I. Yeah, I'm going to records. Eh? Yeah. But they big up my guy, <laughs> GKV. <up> G. <laughs> GKV. <laughs> so speaking of Chuo, Mazai. Uh huh. You Chuo, you talk about GKV and Danny Talks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ulikuwa DJ Mandi. Were you a yeah, DJ? Yeah, I was. Uh. I actually started out as a DJ. Like immediately after high school, Levi. Mm. I told my mom, I miss any computer school, me and that DJ school. Mm. <laughs> and she was very supportive, by the way. Shout out to my mom, she's the coolest. Okay. So I started off with DJing. Then along the way, I met a, a friend of mine who I used to practice from. Mm. There was a, like a studio, Apple Candle. Mm. So I'd go hang out there. Um, producer alikuwa hapa kaniambia by this record kitu ndogo like something small as a joke oh. but then this whole thing started as a joke so hapa sasa umetoka DJing nimetoka DJing nikaingia kuimba mm. so from there my friend now introduced me to G yeah hivyo tu okay kakua <laughs> DJ but then ule pika show Eh, hey, mob, mpaka kwa TV. <coughs> <Hey>. <coughs> okay. But I couldn't balance. Mm. Ilibidi ni me sacrifice one thing. Oh, yeah. And at some point, DJ ikanza kukwa too much. Oh. And I didn't feel like my heart was there kabisa. Okay. Yes, I loved music. Ilikuwa napende yo masho, manini. Mm. But ilikuwa nasikiaka, music is more my element. Okay. Yeah. So, kwa ingia music, mm. kuna time kajita female Isa. Yeah. <laughs> See you, this year. See this year. Yeah, this, this year. year. Mm, around uh, six months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why do you call yourself female Lisa? It's not really as in like. Okay, una zom na ifanyanga iko like so serious. But this is as serious as you people think. Mm. Personally, I love Isa. Mm. Like he's one of the very few people. I can look up to in this like in Kenya. Yep. You get? Mm. And I can name a few this Isa, Joakali is cool. Joakali Bede is like one of the coolest people I've ever met. Okay. There's no Nini is my friend. Mm. But I felt like Isa's impact like echo heavier on me. Mm. So I think it was around the time when his memorial in the Caribbean. Mm, yeah, yeah and my friends and i were listening to his music and some of the old school music and one of them was like with this you just do something with this beat it's like yeah by the way mm. yeah one two one two kandika ka record tukafanya video mm. abruptly yeah so it was just that it's just me just paying homage mm. yeah so apart from apart from isa who else you know inspired you to get into the game of rap Locally, I'm a internationally, I'm a, whatever too. Home. Home. Mm. 
There was um, there was Kinali DS. Yeah. There was Juakali. Mm. There was Nonini. Mm. There was um, mm. Atasi rap rap exactly. Mm. Nani, what's his name? Nameless. Mm. Yeah. Those are some of the few people that mm. inspired me to actually do music. Okay. And calligraph. The OG. OG. But then I was to ask you, uh, Kitu. Yeah. Speaking of calligraph, to nakona calicatel, calicatel lini. Sijui sasa. Unazasi yangu. By the way. Natamani kwa uko. I usually say this. Mm. If calligraph feels it's necessary mm. to add me, fine. But if he feels like there's someone better he can pick, which I don't think there is, I'm still fine. I'm still so jaded. Like how it affects anything at the evil. You uh, get? Niki kosa kuwa. But if he feels the necessary, so what? You choose your key. You challenge your key. Yes, bana will be key. Yes, bana man. Zeni leo shawa se. I mean, I try. <laughs> mm. How as the uh, as Mali? Mm-hmm. Kuna female rappers kadha Kenya. Mm-hmm. Rappers wengi kuna jirani kwa wapi? Si obviously number 1. Number 1. Yeah. <laughs> Second to none. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about you know hey, Bade, nimekumbuka Breeder. Mhm. Oh, uh, uh, Breeder anakuwa na nini na yeye? Uh, Mjama. Mm-hmm. Any time me jam kwa ngoma kuna tu hiyo chemistry tuna kama. Nikaa chemistry ya Yeah. Bibi na bwana hiyo. <laughs> The hell apana <laughs> with the breeder ni beshte yangu wase wajangi breeder tumejana na ye, i think kutoka 2016 mm. when i was now nilikuwa mm. navuma kidogo mm. ye pia ndio alikuwa na anaingia and we were very few like young artists mm. and in that time mm. akukuwa na any older rappers mm. wenye wana mentor younger rappers mm. So the younger rappers all we had was each other. Yeah, yeah. And it was we were many me Brida, Tony Siuma, those XJ King, there was so we were like a small community. Oh. No na. Yeah. So I think you were new bitch there yani. It can grow na pia artistry yetu I think ni kama kuko na Nikki na Lil Wayne kwa ngoma. Haiwezi kosa kwa Bob. No na. I love him to yeah. sit down upon it, yeah. on it, on it. Huh? But yeah. uh, how did that collab come about? Where, where you know you bring on board breed uh, uh. Kaleta Dyna Codes. Love na Mr. Taniwa. Taniwa. Mm. Okay, so it's a very funny story. There's this is one time um but uh, before corona. Mm. I think it was last year. There was a show and he likwa na other gengeton artists. Yep. So mimi nilienda na bishte yangu mm. tukio uko kapatana na Brida kapatana na X-ray mm. then unajani kila msia collect yani good vibes nini mm. kimchezo mchezo mm. tukasema hapo na X-ray tutafanya wimbo uh. but sasa you thinking ah zimeshika hii tu itai happen una get uh. like vile unaweza chochana na bishte yako mzee tutaanza biz mm. sasa ya zimeshika lakini mnadzani wote si serious <laughs> so <laughs> So yeah. tuka exchange numbers ya usiku. Mm. Tuka party nini nini good mm. vibes. Mm. The following day actually texts me. He's like, "Eh, man, this session lini?" Uh. I was like, "Aya." Uko serious. Uko <laughs> serious. Uh. So we talk, we talk akashinanga many skuma many skuma but your team walikuwa like ma celeb. Mm. They, they still are. So mm. mimi nilikuwa naona a um si ananipi man ta book session alafu akose ku pull up. Mm. But he was serious. Mm. So while we were talking mm. I told him um, I'm also talking to Diana. Mm. I'm supposed to do a song with her. Uh-huh. So si kwenye ninaenda ku record with Diana, you can come to the studio also because it's in Umoja. Yep. And I was like, "Ah, see we just get Diana on the song also afanye who cuz like sawa, mm. good vibes. The more the merrier." So ikafika hiyo siku hata nilichelewa. Actually alifika mbele yangu. Me honestly this whole time I'm thinking is joking. Mpaka wa leo mimi udhani ni jokes. <laughs> Like, I can't get realistic. Mm. So to cap the session, then I can record hook, extra can cover siake. And then nikaenda ku record kitu nono. Um I sampled the song to Brida. No, no remix. Yeah, remix. Mm. I sampled the song kwa Brida. I was like I think this is going to be my next release. Mm. He was like, "Ah, mm. sunipe vas." I was like, "Sawa." Mm. It's nothing to lose anyway. Mm. So I can cover kapanga video yeah 
Africa happened to. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, pan it. Yeah. But hey, I think that's your biggest song, huh? It is. Numbers wise. In, in terms of numbers and numbers, everything. Numbers, yeah. everything, like, ime, ime yeah, mm. so Shout apart, out to every artist who came through, every vixen, every director, everyone, yani. Mazenga daddy. Woi, woi, woi. Nikubaya. Nikubaya. Hey, mani, we nikabaya, brida nasema nikubaya. Hey, nikina lilu ingi, po. Now, main sis, nice story, by the way. So, apart from... Uwani, uwani nguna wake hapa, wewe. Ay! Usibutan camera lining nguna wake kwa hapa. Bosanga kwa hapa. Undo, Miss Bazenga, mtamu wana badai, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Okay, so, apart from, apart from Brida, maze. Yeah. Tena msi, tena, wewe vibe na ufiti ni... Shrap God. Butchers. Butchers. Um, Kuaknaya was very easy for me because he's very prompt, he's very creative. Um, but he and I hit up for a collab first. So I came and said, "Hey, man, they have us for us. We talk about us, can we talk about us?" So they look when I come through for a while, then. Um, kafanya sasa akaeka verse kwa hiyo ngoma because okay. i didn't want to do a trap at trap manze tutaimba tuko tu trap tunaimba mm. but first let's do music for the masses something people will love mm. and actually in terms of growth mm. na trajectory na all that come through they may perform the best yeah, yeah, true. apart from what ponit na zoeli amka ika shoot to but for come through like the growth was organic and you are still <coughs> repost the most, you can have the most streams on my platform. Uh, so yeah, it was just a vibe. It's easy to work with. Okay, so apart from uh, Izo Kolabombili, Nicola Bogani turned out and feel like uh, this was the one. Like you really enjoyed working on it. But this is not a mob. Yano, Yano ranking. I love that boy, man. Yani, he's just yeah. good vibes. Yano unapendwa? Na, yano unapendwa. Yano hata sezi ogopa kusema. Unapendwa. Oni, oni the homie, man. Mm. Eh. Pia ya likuwa easy to work with. Hana mambo mob. Una get. Unazwa kuna mkani, maybe ana feeling is jia mefika level flani. Ata kuringia. In fact, mi na prefer kwa kuna awasewa. Awasewa mta. Mm. Oh, so I'm tired. Can I go in? I go in. Can I just get just get? I'm saying, oh, who are my partners? The attackers, the managers. Spendi, spendi kusumbuliwa by the way. Niki ona ona ni sumbwa. Naenda. Tembeza. Anyway, so being a female artist, you know, in a male-dominated industry, how has it how has it been for you? Kizungu. Kizungu. Do you feel like you supported enough? Me. Sina haraka mimi, sina pressure na life. Juu, at the end of the day, mi nataka support ya fans. I want people who genuinely like my music. I really don't care about the industry related decides, the male artists vile watajisikia. Like, me, I'm doing this for my people. And I'm doing this because I want people to love my music and to appreciate my work. In terms of male-dominated industry, I really don't care. Like, me ni mdope manze. Siyazi ya mza kusama ati, oh, males. I'm Mandy. In this competition ni mimi ituna ni mimi. Kabaya. The rest can sort itself. Okay, so, the Kenyan rap scene manze. Kuna time, kuna time guys felt like, you know, Nigerian rappers came and took over the place. South Africa came and took over the place. What do you make of the Kenyan rap scene at the moment? Kenyan rap scene? Kenya and rap scene sina involved the gang yetu na artists. Ah, so he, so he wanna rap. How many rappers? How many rappers? I think to kuto sawa. Let's just keep on supporting our own and listening to Kenyan music. But rap, rap iko better than bila ilikuwa mi ni kianza. Jutu kianza unajua hata kuna mtu alikuwa anapea attention. Sasa inaweza like washa TV nione kabaya iki play like it's no big deal. No na. So that means at the industry itself ina try ku ku move towards hii sound yetu and maybe I think ni jupia youth wanapewa jobs kwa hizo hizo ma media manini. So wako grounded. No na. Shambo zilikuwa wazaa yetu. 
mzee anataka aweke wizkid na mandi yako hapa anaimba vizuri <laughs> but <laughs> but sai we have people like you mm. we have so many young people when you wanna work genuinely interested in the music scene so sai ko better yeah. okay so you give us a um, kabaya mm-hmm. mtupa ep mm-hmm. kabaya so when are you giving us another major project another major project mm. first of all what, what do you make of kabaya do you feel like you know it achieved what you intended hey. kwanza nyo say shout out to bumpe manze mimi sikumia hiyo project yani ni crazy mm. so kabaya ni fanya job yake um, i got a lot of fans from the project mm. And honestly speaking when I was releasing the project I said me at our 250 wakisikiza that's my family members rafiki rafiki yangu mwenye nisikiza by mistake I'm good mm. but niliona wasi wana accept your sound na yeah. nikaona yenye genuinely niko na kitu substantial naweza offer mm. so I believe project will ni elevate na ili nisaidia as an artist So the next project maybe I don't know next year okay. for now nataka tu kwa na numbers yeah nipata numbers proper to launch album nikani ya Beyonce so <laughs> waiting so what's the greatest misconception that people have about Mandy that I mean when like, joy when like, like no like um uh-huh. what's the word I'm not approachable okay Unazabidhi ni kinyamaza na kanika nimejam mm. but za jam mm. <laughs> so mm. <laughs> wasi wogopa kuliongelesh i don't know if it's the way i rap or the way i am mm. but most people are usually mm. intimidated mm. by mm. me kabidi zako na kwa serious mate eh but imagine um, 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 like i'm the sweetest person in over me i'm mm. very open mm. yeah guys she's the sweetest person you'll ever meet she's yeah. very open i'm very open. <laughs> <laughs> to new <laughs> to friendships <laughs> when <laughs> una ribu ya na choma eh eh so yeah okay so now that uh, 20 tuko na corona maze una sababu baje na hii corona pandemic imetupata huko Mm. Imagine nimekuwa hit sasa zenye kwa sababu mzee said tungekuwa tumekula mashomba ya mm. but ni sawa tu god's plan but i'm praying issue mm. so much negative stuff is happening because of corona mm. na mimi sipendi watu wakisafa so issue tu manze tu rudi vile tulikuwa kwa sababu wana leo wana do wana do hakuna do mm. yeah. so it's a fact so fact. So But mimi niko nayo. Mimi na kwanga nimejipanga.